Introduction Sharmila, as we have already discussed earlier, that land plants are divided into Thallophyta, Bryophyta, Tracheophyta. Tracheophyta includes vascular plants. These vascular plants are Pteridophytes, Gymnosperms and Angiosperms. We have already discussed Pteridophytes. Now we are going to study gymnosperms and angiosperms. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to find main characters of gymnosperms, reproduction in gymnosperms, study different divisions of gymnosperms, psychodophyta, jingophyta, netophyta and coniferophyta. Study main characters of angiosperms. Reproduction in angiosperms. Understand life cycle of some important angiosperms. Study plant life cycles and alternation of generations. Gymnosperms. The word gymnosperm is derived from Greek words gymnos, naked, and sperma, seeds so they are plants in which the ovules are not enclosed by any ovary wall the seeds develop after fertilization are not covered that is are naked gymnosperms range from medium sized trees to shrubs and tall trees the giant redwood tree sequoia is one of the tallest tree species it is such a big tree that a vehicle like tonga can pass through its trunk. The gymnosperms are vascular plants that produce seeds on scales of woody strobili called cones. The roots are generally tap roots. Roots in some genera have fungal association in the form of mycorrhiza, pinus, while in some others, cycas, small specialized roots called corolloid roots are associated with N2 fixing cyanobacteria. The stems may be unbranched, cycus, or branched, pinus cedrus. The leaves are simple or compound. In cycus, the pinnate leaves persist for a few years. Cycads have a terminal rosette of leaves and bear seeds in cones. The leaves in gymnosperms are well adapted to withstand extremes of temperature, humidity and wind. In conifers, the needle-like leaves reduce the surface area. Their thick cuticle and sunken stomata also help to reduce water loss. All cycads have separate male and female plants. The gymnosperms are heteroporous, which means they produce haploid microspores and megaspores. The two kinds of spores are produced within sporangia that are born on sporophiles, which are arranged spirally along an axis to form lax or compact strobili or cones. The strobili having microsporophylls and microsporangia are known as microsporangiate or male strobili. The microspores develop into a highly reduced male gametophyte. The reduced gametophyte is called a pollen grain. Pollen grains are developed within the microsporangia. The cones bearing megasporophylls with ovules or megasporangia are called macrosporangiate or female strobili. The male or female cones or strobili may be born on the same tree, pinus, or on different trees, cycas. Gymnosperms Reproduction The megaspore mother cell is differentiated from one of the cells of the nucleus. The nucleus is protected by envelopes and the composite structure is called an ovule. The ovules are born on megasporophylls 
which may be clustered to form the female cones. The megaspore mother cell divides meiotically to form four megaspores. One of the megaspores develops into a multicellular female gametophyte that bears two or more archegonia or female sex organs. In gymnosperms, the male and the female gametophytes do not have an independent free-living existence. They remain within the sporangia retained on the sporophytes. The pollen grain is released from the microsporangium. They are carried in air currents and come in contact with the opening of the ovules born on megasporophylls. The pollen tube carries the male gametes and grows towards archegonia in the ovules and discharges their contents near the mouth of the archegonia. After fertilization, zygote develops into an embryo and the ovules into seeds. Cycadophyta. The four divisions of gymnosperms are Cycadophyta, Cycas, Jinkgophyta, Jinkgo, Netophyta, Ephedra, Coniferophyta, Pinus. The best known species is Cycas revoluta, widely cultivated under the name Sagopalm or King Sagopalm due to its palm-like appearance, although it is not a true palm. The generic name comes from Greek koikos and means a kind of palm. Ginkgophyta Divisions Ginkgophyta has only on living species, Ginkgo biloba. The leaves of Ginkgo biloba are lobed. Ginkgos have separate male and female trees. Netophyta Divisions Netophyta has three genera Netum, Ephedra, Valvisia, Coniferophyta Coniferophyta is the largest and most diverse division of gymnosperms. Most conifers are evergreen, keeping their leaves year round. A very few are deciduous dropping all of their leaves at the same time. Angiosperms Angiosperms or flowering plants constitute the largest, the dominant and the economically most important class in the plant kingdom. They include trees, shrubs, vines and herbs adapted to almost every kind of environment. They are primarily land plants but some hydrophytes like Hydrilla, water lilies, etc. have taken water secondarily and even ocean water like Zostera, eel grass. Many angiosperms are xerophytes. Example, Opuntia. Some angiosperms have become epiphytes. Example, orchid or parasites. Example, Cascata. Vascular plants are those plants that have tube to carry water up to plants and food down to the parts of plants. American dogwood plant, rose, hibiscus, etc. The angiosperms are commonly called flowering plants. In these plants, the pollen grains and ovules are developed in specialized structures called flowers. In angiosperms, the seeds are enclosed by fruits. The angiosperms are a large group of plants occurring in wild range of habitats. They range in size from microscopic wolfia to tall trees of eucalyptus over 100 meters. Angiosperms provide food, fodder, fuel, medicines and several other commercially important products. Angiosperms Reproduction Angiosperms are divided into two classes. Dicotyledons and monocotyledons. The dicotyledons have two cotyledons in their seeds while the monocots have only one. The male sex organ in a flower is the stamen. Each stamen is made up of a slender filament with an anther at the tip. After meiotic division, the anthers produce pollen grains.
The female sex organ in a flower is the pistil or the carpel. Pistil is made up of an ovary enclosing one to many ovules. Ovules have highly reduced female gametophytes, termed embryo sacs. The embryo sac is also made by meiotic division. Hence, each of the cells of an embryo sac is haploid. Each embryo sac has a three-celled egg apparatus, one egg cell and two synergids, three antipodal cells and two polar nuclei. The polar nuclei eventually fuse to produce a diploid secondary nucleus. Pollen grain after dispersal from the anthers is carried by wind or various other agencies to the stigma of a pistol. This is termed as pollination. The pollen grains germinate on the stigma and the resulting pollen tubes grow through the tissues of stigma and style and reach the ovule. The pollen tubes enter the embryo sac where two male gametes are discharged. One of the male gametes fuses with the egg cell to form a zygote, syngamy. The other male gamete fuses with the diploid secondary nucleus to produce the triploid primary endosperm nucleus, PEM. Because of two fusions, this event is termed as double fertilization, an event unique to angiosperms. The zygote develops into an embryo with one or two cotyledons and the PEN develops into endosperm which provides nourishment to the developing embryo. The synergids and antipodals degenerate after fertilization. During these events, the ovules develop into seeds and the ovaries develop into fruit. Angiosperms Fruit a fruit is a structure of a plant that contains its seeds. A fruit is a part of a flowering plant that derives from specific tissues of the flower, mainly one or more ovaries. Angiosperms, seed and seed dispersal. A seed is a small embryonic plant enclosed in a covering called seed coat, usually with some stored food. It is the product of the ripened ovule of gymnosperm and angiosperm plants which occurs after fertilization and some growth within the mother plant. Seed dispersal is the movement or transport of seeds away from the parent plant. Seeds can be dispersed in a variety of ways. Dispersal by wind. Dispersal by animals. Dispersal by birds. Dispersal by water. Dispersal by man. Life cycles of plants. Alternation of generations. Both haploid and diploid cells of plants can divide by mitosis. This ability leads to the formation of different plant bodies, haploid and diploid. The haploid plant body produces gametes by mitosis which is represented by gametophyte. After fertilization, the zygote also divides by mitosis to produce a diploid sporophytic plant body. Haploid spores are produced by this plant body by meiosis. These in turn divide by mitosis to form a haploid plant body once again. Thus, during the life cycle of any sexually reproducing plant, there is an alternation of generations between gamete producing haploid gametophyte and spore producing diploid sporophyte. Alternation of generations Haplontic life cycle Different plant groups differ in pattern of alternations of generations. In haplontic life cycle, a sporophytic generation is represented only by the one-celled zygote. There are no free-living sporophytes. Meiosis in zygote results in the formation of haploid spores. The haploid spores divide mitotically and form the gametophyte. The dominant photosynthetic phase in such plants is the free living gametophyte. Examples Volvox, Spirogyra, and some species of Chlamydominus represent this pattern. Alternation of Generations 
diplontic life cycle. On the other extreme is the type wherein the diploid sporophyte is the dominant, photosynthetic, independent phase of the plant. It alternates with multicellular, saprophytic, autotrophic, independent but short-lived haploid gametophyte. Examples, some algae like ectocarpus, polysiphonia, kelps and fuckers are haplodiplontic. Alternation of generations, haplodiplontic life cycle, a dominant, independent, photosynthetic, thaloid or erect phase is represented by a haploid gametophyte and it alternates with the short-lived multicellular sporophyte totally or partially dependent on the gametophyte for its anchorage and nutrition. The gametophytic phase is represented by the single to few-celled haploid gametophyte. Examples All seed-bearing plants, that is, gymnosperms and angiosperms, follow this pattern. Did you know? The kingdom plantae is divided into two main categories. Non-vascular plants, vascular plants. Non-vascular plants, no water conducting cells, xylem. It has only one division, bryophyta, mosses and liverworts. Vascular plants, xylem tissue, true roots, stems and leaves. It includes pteridophyta, gymnosperms and angiosperms. These divisions are often placed in division tracheophyta. Double fertilization was discovered more than a century ago by Sergius Navoshchin in St. Petersburg, Russia. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The gymnosperms are the plants in which ovules are not enclosed by any ovary wall. After fertilization, the seeds remain exposed and therefore these plants are called naked seeded plants. The gymnosperms produce microspores and megaspores which are produced in microsporangia and megasporangia born on sporophiles. The anther produces pollen grains, male gametophyte, after meiosis. The pistil consists of an ovary enclosing one to many ovules. Within the ovule is the female gametophyte or embryo sac which contains the egg cell. The pollen tube enters the embryo sac where two male gametes are discharged. One male gamete fuses with egg cell, syngamy, and other fuses with diploid secondary nucleus, triple fusion. This phenomenon of two fusions is called double fertilization and is unique to angiosperms. In angiosperms, the male sex organs stamen and female sex organs pistil are born in a flower. Each stamen consists of a filament and an anther. The angiosperms are divided into two classes, the dicotyledons and the monocotyledons. During the life cycle of any sexually reproducing plant, there is alternation of generations between gamete-producing haploid gametophyte and spore-producing diploid sporophyte. However, different plant groups as well as individuals may show different patterns of life cycles, haplontic, diplontic or intermediate.